Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. This is why I love doing these NBA videos, man, because you guys keep me on top of things. I had just gotten off work and I was just chilling, and one of my uh, one of my followers on Twitch came in and said, "Yo, Jay, what's up with that D'Angelo Russell trade?" I hadn't even known that a trade had gone down. I was getting ready to go watch. Um, Transformers tonight. But uh, anyway, Adrian Wojnarowski, one of the, I, I trust him more than just about anybody. Definitely more than uh, the sources and uh, Chris Broussard. Anyway, the Lakers are trading Timofey Mozgov and uh, D'Angelo Russell to the Nets for Brooke Lopez and the 27th pick uh, Thursday. Sources say. Well, I guess those are sources. Anyway, Ju said that they already pretty much turned the paperwork in. This appears to be a done deal. And then uh, they have something else that says this. for the Lakers, this long term, this is a for the Lakers, this is a long term play to clear, to clear space for Paul George and, Le, and the LeBron James pursuit. Lonzo Ball on the uh, on on the way number two. Obviously, we already knew that. We know what this means. We know that they're gonna pick Lonzo Ball. We knew. I said something about this the other day when I said I know that they're gonna pick Lonzo Ball. I can damn near 100% guarantee they are going to take Lonzo Ball with the first pick in the. I mean, with the second pick in the draft, especially after they after um the Celtics traded their pick. And, uh, you know, they gave it to Philadelphia. Philadelphia is obviously going to take Fultz. So now you're going to have... So that answers the question of what type of point guard the Lakers want. They want the guys that are, I guess you would say, more polished or more more uh, pure point guards like Lonzo Ball and and my guy, uh, Jordan Clarkson. I like Jordan Clarkson. I'm a Jordan Clarkson fan. You know, but because of that, because my man hit me up in the comments and told me about this, he says he's a Lakers fan. And I just want to give him a chance to tell us what he thinks. And I got Juice with me too, so this ain't going to be a long segment. But go ahead and tell him what's up, Casey. It's just stupid how D'Angelo Russell is like an upcoming player for them. Someone right. that could do something great and they're going to get rid of him. Yeah. He's going, a lot of people from what I've heard my friends say, he's not going to do anything. He's a flat out failure. But that's not true because... You can see what he's doing. He's playing the best ball he's played with the Lakers this season. And he's and if they they should have kept him because he was going to make something great with Brandon Ingram. Him, Brandon Ingram, and uh who's the Evika, Evika Zubak. Those three guys were going to help the Lakers until okay, now they have someone that's old. Brooke Lopez come in <laughs> to take someone young. What are they doing? Why are the Lakers making these decisions? And, and you know what they're saying? They're saying that they're making decisions, obviously, like we said, because they want to get, they want to try to make a play for Paul George. But from what we heard earlier today, Paul George doesn't want to go to the Lakers. Like, like he said he was going to go. He named the places kind of like, you know, they named all the places that had some interest in him. And the Lakers just were not on the list. So I really don't know what they're doing but this is the thing i think is it could be another lake of smoke screen that could be it but i think what they're doing is dangerous because if you're putting all of your eggs in one basket and you want to have a team that's going to be lonzo ball um i guess swagward p will be at the two uh you're gonna have paul george at the three what what's brandon Ingram gonna play brandon uh, paul george gonna play two and then brandon Ingram, Ingram gonna play three and then randall will play uh four and then, you know, I don't know who, who y'all got five. Um, uh, the, the Big Dunker. Uh, I forgot what his name is. Who, who's y'all five? I don't even know who's going to be the five after after Mozgov is gone. Brooke. Brooke. Oh, yeah, Brooke. Dog, I am tripping. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I don't even have Brooke Lopez in my mind for this because I'm just like, I don't really see. I mean, I guess he will help. I guess he is an upgrade from, uh, from Team of Faith. But still, like... I don't know. I, th I think you're betting a lot on getting Paul George and LeBron. Like, do you think that they will even want to go out there? How much of a chance do you think they got to get uh, LeBron and Paul George, Juice? What you think? Zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Zero out of ten. They ain't going to want to go there. LeBron wants to go to a winning team, and Paul George doesn't want to keep losing. So why would he go to a losing team? And I just don't even and, – and even as constructed with Lonzo – let's say let's just say that this is the lineup. Let's just say some kind of how they get this. Lonzo Ball, Paul George, LeBron James, Brooke Lopez, and, De uh, and um, 
uh, what, what, what's, what's the other guy's name, man? I forgot what your four's name, man. Uh, I just said it's that Julius Randle. Ingram. Do you think? Cause I, I think that they will have to get rid of Ingram to 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 get LeBron in there probably or something like that or somebody. But let's just say they can get that team that's constructed. I get it for you. One. Let's just say they could get that team as constructed. Do you think that that team gets out of the West? I don't even think that team gets out of the West. But, I mean, just think. Okay, Lonzo Ball, um, LeBron James at the three, your boy at the two, Paul George. At the four, you're going to have Randall, and then at the five, you got Lopez. You think that team gets out of the West? I don't think so. Hey, maybe they do, but I, I don't see it. What y'all think? Okay, I think this right here. First of all, with the trade, with this trade right here that we see, the reason why they're trading that young talent, because he is a talent, is because he can't be trusted in what he pulled off last season. Wow. He's never going to be able to play that, and a lot of people are not going to forget that. So you're telling me you have you got a young, what I see ball, I see ball being a young pit bull coming in to the league, got something to prove. You know, Magic always like somebody who got something to prove, got a chip on their shoulder. So right. with the Brooke Lopez portion of the deal, he'd be a free, he'll be a free agent in 2018. So that's tradable value right there for him. They right. wanted to get they wanted to get that horrible contract they signed, the walking matter, the NBA, Timmy Miles off the poster king. That six that four years, sixty four million dollars. They wanted to get that off their books. That's all fresh. Ever. They ain't gonna run out of LeBron and Le, LeBron and what's your boy name PG. Yeah, I don't see it happening. Me neither. If PG goes if PG goes to LA. You got to play against that juggernaut up the coast four times a year plus in the playoffs. Right. Why would you want to play and subject yourself to that type of punishment and that demolition all the time when you can stand the eat, team up with a team that's already established in Cleveland right. just to be the extra piece and you still get to do what you do, how they, how KD did the same thing in right. Florida State, PG did do the same thing in Cleveland. Right. Just do what you got to do defense we got you. because setting up a team like that in LA I don't think they get you, and that's a long shot if you're the if you're the uh, Lakers like if you're able to do that I don't think they get you out of the West but if you put together a team with Kyrie Paul George um LeBron and any other serviceable piece I think that gets you maybe over the uh that definitely gets you out of the east but I think that might get you over the uh over the hump and you might can beat the, the Golden State Warriors with that. I don't know. Uh, uh, what you think, Case? Okay, Case. <laughs> he upset. He is upset, dog. <laughs> I, more, I would I have thought and they would have, tra- Carmelo Anthony would have been traded in New York quicker than they traded D'Angelo Russell. I just, they're moving pieces to get players that they're not gonna get. They're not yes, going to get LeBron. That, that's more or less. Why would LeBron go to a team that's not established? And that's, and that's the same thing with Paul George. Right. And that's more or less what I'm saying. Like, you, you're making the moves. We understand that you're dumping money. But maybe what they're trying to do is, and this might be another Lake of Smoke screen like this, maybe what they're really trying to do is they're going, they're just trying to dump salary and get ready for, for, for free agency and other things, but just under the guys that we're going after Paul George, and who said he really doesn't want to go to L.A. and LeBron. Like, they, they're just putting the smoke screen out there. We're making moves for the future, but then they really might not be. Uh, you know, just like like a fan like you ain't falling for that, but the average fan may fall for it and be like, oh, man, we're going to get LeBron. But, hell, they said the same thing a couple years ago that LeBron was probably going to go out there, and he didn't. So, I don't know, man. Um, like I said, Juice Juice probably had it on the head where they're just trying to clear some salary. And, uh, you know, Casey hit it, definitely hit it on the head when he said that they're going after players that they're not going to get, 110% not going to get. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. And uh, once again, I want to thank Casey for uh, for the breaking news. Uh, I'm going to have his Twitter down in the comments, man. And uh, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Holla! And uh, also, man, make sure you subscribe for more daily 2K con- I mean, 2K content. NBA content, and as soon as I get this get this stuff, as soon as it comes across my wire, me and my team will have the videos out, man. And we gonna holler at y'all. Hold on, before we go, Jay. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go, 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 yeah. Say one thing. You ain't fresh in the barbershop, you fella. Oh my God, man! Stop hating. <laughs>